Yeah, you know, I put it up when I was there. I, I called it the bright side of EOS. I, 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 was, I, was, I was like literally only joking, and then a, a few block producers picked up on it. Paul, Hi. nice to meet you. How are you? Welcome, back. I just thought that we said uh, at the start of the week we'd throw a little kind of impromptu. Kind of a little bit of a chat to see how things we're doing. We don't have anything really too planned, but we're going to take you through what we're looking at and, and how we look at the market. And during the week, I was thinking, um, you know, what else can we do to kind of reach out to our community and constantly remain engaged? And I said, well, why don't we just have a, a small group up to the office? As you guys already know, for some who come to our meetups, uh, we can do large meetups and small meetups. And I just thought that this was a little bit more of an intimate type type arrangement. So. So as you know, uh, we are a venture capital firm based here in London. Uh, we deploy capital into uh, blockchain technology, in particularly blockchain technology which will utilize the EOS IO protocol. Uh, the fund that we have is a targeted 50 million AUM fund. Um, the mandate of that fund is really simple. Um, it's go out and find kick-ass projects that will build out on EOS. Really kind of what we wanted to do was kind of take this opportunity to kind of look at where, where the, the market was. Yeah. Um, and when we look at the market, we look at um, several different things. Um, obviously, price action is, is where a lot of the headlines are. When we look at market capitalization today, it's about $135 billion. It sounds like a lot of money. It's really not. It's still very, very small. Um, when you look at um, what's happened with regards to the markets, they've really been driven driven by, by sentiment. The markets are sentiment driven. We don't have any DCFs, our, our uh, uh, cash flow forecasts, our PEs. There's no metrics that you can measure this market on. There's no revenues, right? So um, the adoption is, is such whereby you know, we, we, we haven't really seen any mass adoption. So when you're looking at, I'm just going to say crypto and blockchain, they're very difficult to measure what they should be actually worth. And when you look at the price action in the market that we see each and every day, it's driven by sentiment, which is driven by emotion, which is driven by fear and greed. Fear goes through the market so much more quicker than greed, and that's when you see these days when the market's down 15%. Um, but that really isn't that important to us, because what you really need to look at is you really need to look at the tech that's been built out. It's all about the tech. And when we look at the tech, it really goes from bottom left to top right. And the tech really looking at protocol level and what's happened. Um, obviously, you know, Bitcoin was the first iteration. Yeah. Then, of course, we moved on to Ethereum, Ethereum. right? And now we've obviously been, been very focused on, on the likes of EOS. We believe in the future there won't just be one blockchain. There'll be several blockchains. There'll be blockchains for privacy. There'll be private blockchains. There'll be public blockchains. There'll be enterprise level. There'll be free, fast, and scalable. There'll be secure. A little bit like operating systems now that we have on, on, yeah. on computers. What we're all very much aware of is that we're just at the beginning of it. Like, it's still so nascent, right? We're so, so, so early. Um, last night I gave a speak at, at, at um, Hayes, which is a, a financial uh, a headhunter and recruiter, and I played a video that probably a lot of you have already seen before, so I won't bore you with it, but it, it talks about um, the internet, and in 1995 on primetime TV, um, they did not know what the internet was, and they're asking each other on the morning show, going, so what is this thing called the internet? And the guy's like, well, I'm not really too sure. And the lady goes, I think it's a big computer you write to. And that was 1995. And, I think when we go into a lot of meetings with regards to investors, the first thing they say is, well, what is this thing called the blockchain? And I think we're so early in it whereby we spend a lot of time, and we're not educators, we're, we're, we're investors, and we're not experts. We're still learning each and every day. Um, I don't think anybody is an expert, but it just shows you how early we are in this whole, in this whole process. So with regards to the market, um, at the start of 2017, the market was $20 billion. Uh, it had very little interest. Certainly no institutions um, were interested. Um, that was when Bitcoin was trading at about $1,000. By the end of 2017, uh, the market was trading at $800 billion, and Bitcoin was at 20000 The price action, I said, is, is only one half of the story, and I just don't think it's important. I think when we look at some indicators with regards to where we are, there's been some, some interesting developments, uh, certainly just quite recently with regards to JP Morgan coming out and saying they're going to have a JP Morgan coin. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, considering Jamie, I mean, 
considering how Jamie Dimon had come out saying it was all a scam. So, uh, but I think it's just validation to when you see JP Morgan coming out. It gives, it's very, very positive, although it's a kind of a wall garden coin. I don't know really how it's going to actually, actually work. I haven't spent too much time on it, but I think just massive validation when you start to see someone like JP Morgan coming out. This, this, um, uh, this last week as well, we had uh, Morgan Creek, which is a, a pretty renowned hedge fund which focuses on digital assets in, in the US. Uh, they had a $40 million investment from the Fairfax pension plan, so more validation coming into the space. Um, we've also seen Fidelity talk about custody. Would you mind just switching? Uh, um, yeah, we have paid our electricity bill. So. <laughs> Uh, we've also seen Fidelity enter the space talking about custody, and, and we really believe that custody is one of, these, one of these issues which has to get solved for institutional investment, but we'll, we'll get on to that. Uh, all in all, I'm seeing more of a, like, a lack of negative sentiment. I'm starting to see now you know, less negative headlines. I'm starting to see the market, I think, a bit range-bound between, between 105 billion and 125 billion. Looks like we've just poked above that range, although I'm not massively technical analysis focused because I just don't think we really have the, the, the data to back it up. But I'm starting to see the market move, move a little higher. Uh, I know last week there was a lot of shorts that were covered as well in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still market dominance. What is it, 50? 52, I think, at the minute. Yeah, so when you look at the market, you really got to look at, look, at, look at Bitcoin because it drives everything. We've seen a uh, real increase in trading volumes in uh, Asia as well, which is always very happy. It tends to kind of lead, lead the market. And um, I think uh, we've really enjoyed this bear market, actually. Yeah. For me, I love a bear market because it's actually the time that you can put on risk. Uh, you can uh, get exposure to the right type of deals. Uh, you can negotiate better terms. So um, these bear markets. Um, about a lot of the bad deals as well that, when, that never really had a chance, kind of consolidates the market. Oh, absolutely! It gets it gets rid of a lot of time 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 wasting. There's been also a lot of a uh, lot of venture inflows. So although although the overall market has been weaker, we're starting to see an an increase in venture flows coming into the space. Half from here, anything's possible. Price action is price action, um, but I think we remain pretty steadfast with with our vision to uh, build communities, give back understand where we are, look out for the signals with regards to you know, how it's going to be adopted both from capital inflow to, to tech. Um, and really, I think we, we really have a lot of fun doing what we do. Thanks very much all for coming. Really appreciate it. And Thank yeah, thanks for your time. Thanks. thanks.